And y'all, I'm here with you in Vientiane on a very beautiful, cool morning. Actually, in front of this restaurant and bar. Just because one of these days we'll take you there. It's called Yawalad. It's a very popular place with live music, beer garden food, great food. This is our second location. Well, actually, this morning, I'm here to meet Helen, and we're going to go for a little ride down to... Well, the name on Google Maps, what she sent me, is called Oishi Tea Monument. And it didn't look like much of anything on the Google Pictures, but it's a nice bike ride, and so I'm going to take you along with me. It's beautiful out here this morning. It's been raining. Things are getting nice and green. But we're going to wait for her here at the main intersection. And then we'll head down to the riverside which is gonna be about 12 miles for those of you that aren't familiar with kilometers. And we'll stop and see what we can find. Maybe we'll go to a market. You know, we're out to explore this morning. It's absolutely beautiful because it's been raining off and on and another cloudy day. We're getting into rainy season. You gotta love it. I, it's nice to not be sweating like crazy. So let's go for a ride guys. Off the main road, it's kind of nice. There's been a lot of cyclists out this morning. Got the GoPro mounted on my bike, so it's going to be a bit bouncy. season cool. the <laughs> cools down a little bit everything green all the fruit is ripe really? all the fruit gets really right like right now mango season mangoes are super cheap like 20 kilos or 20 kilos two a kilo for like a dollar 20,000 15,000 sometimes that? Yeah. I know avocado is more food. Lots of things are in season right now. Mangoes, rambutan is in season. What else? Lynchy is in season, but it's more expensive anyway. Lynchy? Light, light, light cheap? <laughs> I don't actually. I, uh, I don't know. I, I need to try again. It's been a long time. You didn't try. I've tried many times, but it's been a long time since I ate it. Oh, okay. Do you like it or not? I remember it being okay, but just like the smell is pretty bad. But the, the taste was okay. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> not <in> my <laughs> It smells like if I cook. Like a cake. Like a cake? Really? I thought more like if I cook eggs with onions and then I leave it outside for two days. 
morning traffic though now that we're back on the main road but we'll be off along the riverside in just a moment time since I just rode my bike it's so comfortable <laughs> it's not hot what do you mean love time you are saying I ride usually every day but it's so hot it's not like comfortable right it's just like exercise oh, <laughs> right. I usually go to the gym in the afternoon and that's when I ride ride to the gym ride home it's like yeah and then ride around to go to the market stuff like that and it's for uh, probably all together I ride around do things everything on my bike for the day my motorbikes yeah. my motorbike my first motorbike I bought when I got here I parked on the riverside you know where all the restaurants are so everybody recommended oh there's restaurants on the river it's really beautiful it's like maybe my third week here, second week here. I parked there and uh, it was gone after. I was there for a few hours eating and it was gone. But I knew like... Maybe someone re-parked. They, like I tried to talk to the restaurant and everybody around there and they just kind of like, oh, nothing you can do. You can, you can go to the police but the, and file a report but they're gonna want money to look for it. <laughs> and then was it a fancy bike? <laughs> what's that? Was it a fancy bike? No, it was just a like Honda Wave. So yeah, still still like a thousand dollars. So yeah, okay. <laughs> My first bike was one hundred dollars. No one wanted to <laughs> 
Like not at all. I should have known. I should have bought like a yeah cheap one, really cheap one. Second one was just a rental, and it was parked inside the gate of my property that I was renting. I have like a remote for the gate. Uh -huh. Somehow, some they took it. But I don't know if it was the. I feel really uncomfortable about that situation. I still don't like it because I woke up and it's like nothing's different. Every, nothing moved. Like my bike's just gone, and I, it really felt like my landlord. I rented from my landlord. It felt like they they took it. It really felt like they took it. Because why? How did somebody take the bike? I didn't hear anything. The gate was not open. There's no no nothing like. But I think people were just climbing fences and then like lifting yeah. it up and uh, yeah. even with, with the lock on the wheel. Mm -hmm. Still, they're yeah. lifting it up and it's very strange. They they they're able to do that. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> like just take the bike. Like nobody even came into my house. Uh, electric one. <laughs> yeah, the last one was stolen in like October of last year. And I said, hey, the weather is beautiful. I don't need a motorcycle. Yeah. If you, you, if you don't need to go like too far. Yeah. Fine. We've made our way to just the little paths close to the river. See what what in the world? That's never spelt like that. Why was it be spelt like that? Is that old spelling? We'll see. That's strange. I mean it's possible to do that. That's how you could write like a gala. But nobody speaks like that. Gala. It must be somebody else's. Somebody, maybe somebody else that lives here, their name is that something. Yeah, it's probably the owner's house. It's huge, I just looked back, it's massive. Right on the riverside, yeah, it must be. Look at that name of the form. I need to take the camera off of this bike for a second. It's beautiful out here. Really beautiful. I need to go back. Okay. We're going this way. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will come out to Lao and join me for a ride. I do plan to do that in the future as we grow the channel bike tour is something that I always thought would be a really fun thing to do so we'll wait until we get enough people but I can remember back in the day when I used to watch people out here dreaming of being here doing taking people around by bike and thought yes that's exactly how to do it and then you can really cover some area without having to worry you know like with walking tours and jumping in or jumping in taxi this that and the other they're all fun but the biking is awesome so we'll definitely figure out some bike tours at some point and that's generally how I oh did I lose her what happened she said this was that wasn't the road so I can't miss her oh. Where these houses, some of these houses out here are really cool. I love that design. It's like huge underneath area where you can hang out with people. That's like that traditional style that I've always talked about. It's a little low though. Where did she go? She said that's not the road to go back, but I think she went this way in the end. Where'd she 
you go. Oh. <laughs> She's been waiting here, I guess. Oh, they're making a park, are they not? Is this real? I thought this would be real. That's... This another, another thing I'm missing. Oh, anytime they have a park project, I get really excited because there's not a lot of parks. China does parks very well. There's not a lot of parks Korea. in Laos. Maybe this joint project with Korea, they'll do some kind of cool park. There could be so many nice like river walks along the river. Mm -hmm. And they do that in most cities. Like in the city center here, most cities have a river walk. They're gonna have football fields. So what, can we bike down there? Is this somebody's property? This looks like an I orchard. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how you meet people. <laughs> People are like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> oh, there's got to be something to do. But no, this, this road, hmm. Oh. Please, I'm not falling in the mud. Oh, <laughs> Stopping one-handed is always a challenge. Slam on the brakes. The cows grazing. The river's off that way. We got some sort of orchard going on here. I wonder what kind of trees I wonder what kind of trees these are. Bye. <laughs> Big bonsai trees. <laughs> Curious. Don't make tongue. No fruit on them, so I have no idea. Well, this was a cool, unexpected trail. Oh, oh shoot, I almost took my head off. Oh, more fruit trees, yes. Wish there was some fruit on them so I could... Oh, there is fruit on them. Oh man, what kind of fruit are these? Looks like lamut to me. Like lamut ba. Hanyu ba. The small little brown ones, it looks like Lamut to me. I don't remember what Lamut's called in English, guys, so somebody in the comments help me out. I mean, it might not be, but it might be Bukjong that aren't, aren't ripe yet. Oh, then this might be Asian pears that aren't ripe, actually. They're still growing. Could be. I can't tell. Can you guys tell? There's more up there. There's loads of them. And pretty small. Let's see if we can get figure it out in the comments. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. No. I'm gonna get stuck in this shit. I'm too heavy. I'm gonna have to go up the side of this wall to see. <laughs> One foot. Nice. <laughs> that was good. And we are actually following the correct road. We are. Even better. I was just enjoying. I didn't mind <laughs> wherever we're going. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's beautiful out here. Nope. No, no car fumes. Butterflies. Fruit on the trees. What did you find? I couldn't tell if they looked like they were still growing. They're really small. Could be Asian pears. Or I wasn't sure it might be a fruit called lamut, but I don't know what it is in English. What? what? It, wow. Wow. They're doing all kinds of construction along the Mekong River all the time. Gold. Well, maybe it's not construction, but I don't know what they're doing. Getting minerals out. Unfortunately, Lao doesn't need more of their minerals sucked out of them and sent off somewhere else. So one sad side of Lao at this moment. A lot of that going on. To the next puddle. Right. Good morning. And we'll make it up the hill. <laughs> Back to the main road. Do we go right or left? Let me find the shade. <laughs> oh, he's growing some flowers over here. Oh, he's planting rice. See him just spreading it out there? Planting rice. That's how they usually plant rice. They just spread it. Just... And it grows. And they pick it out and transport it separate, small, into uh, e evenly spaced so they can grow properly. Okay. What do we got going on here? Jeez. that are along the riverside sucking the minerals out of the river out of the dirt Helen's up for an adventure glad she invited me <laughs> this is random but we're here on the riverside because well we came to see the Oishi tea monument I thought it was sarcastic on the map 
pretty sure it is sarcastic. <laughs> and if anybody knows Oishi tea, it's the popular tea out here. <laughs> and the pictures, <laughs> they just look like a pile of trash. So I didn't mind though, because we're out here off the beaten path, riding our bikes. It's beautiful. And the unfortunate side of the Mekong River is that there's usually companies mining and doing stuff. Sometimes they fix the beauty a bit, but hey, it's still so nice to be out here. Shall we add some nice comments about this boat? Yeah, <laughs> on our beautiful monument. <laughs> I'm giving a little history on our monument. <laughs> The Mekong River in all its glory. <laughs> no, I like this though because you gotta see both sides. There's gonna be the beautiful bits and the normal bits. But also if we want to do anything about making it, like conserving it, then we need to know what's actually going on. You think you could swim across or the river is too strong? I mean it's strong but you can swim think so? if you like to. <laughs> I know one person was kayaking, not in the right place. It seems pretty like it's moving pretty fast, but I don't know. I think it, maybe if you started here, you country. down there you end up on the other side. <laughs> but that would be illegal so. <laughs> Open soon. Open soon. <laughs> the coffee. Tomorrow is coffee. <laughs> Got a lot of dust on the camera. Do you want to swim? <laughs> <laughs> the photos. Right. Fine. That's the other thing. The Mekong, the Mekong River is kind of like, uh, looks like the Mississippi River, you know? It's just, it's not usually inviting. It's a big, muddy, fast moving river. But then there's parts that are like gorgeous, so. I don't usually find some good skipping rocks. What is that? The eye. <laughs> Let's see if we can skip this big old bastard. Sure can. Come to the river. <laughs> Ooh, that one is nice. That's some good skipping rocks out here. All right. This one. We're going for 15 skipping. On this one, if I can get a good throw with the camera. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're off the beaten path, y'all. I asked this kid what's back here. Said it was his house. Asked what these plants are. This is just elephant grass. Or, yeah, I think that's what this grass is. Huge. Holy smokes. This abandoned house. <laughs> Helen's stoked. <laughs> First, I thought I lost it. It was just oh. right there. <laughs> I was like, when did that fall off? How did I not notice? <laughs> the legs pop off because these legs on this gorilla pod, you can adjust them and I can put it on the handlebars, but they can pop off the nodules. This is crazy. 
because the way it's built is not like a traditional outhouse. What is this? They got like a kiln in here. What in the world? Okay, somebody's gonna have to help me out here because I've never seen buildings like this really. Must have been a special usage for this, these buildings. Because what are these? It looks like some sort of kiln that was linked up to the... Hello. It looks like they have like a kiln of, like an oven of some sort. I think it's still open. But this is not like a Lao style home. This is very strange. There's no roof on it right now. Oh, and then it's got just the one window up top here with like the wood. These small little holes and like vents down here. This feels like it was used for something else. This is very strange. Hey, what kind of fruit tree do we got here? What is this? A uh, wild apple or something? Hmm. What could this have been? You think it's what? Warehouse. Warehouse. Warehouse? Ah, oh, okay, that would make sense. They were just warehouse. Six of the same type of buildings. Maybe for heating up. Something. They're making something here. Oh, sure, though. I think it is. Ouch. Something bit me already. Yeah, they're all built the same, so they had some sort of purpose because this is very unique. Yeah, I'm a nice kid. We just saw this from the road and we're like, hey, let's see what's going on here. Should have turned on the camera before when I start talking to the kid. Hey, but I just asked him. Good lang ni, men huon chao ball. And he said, yes. And I asked him, by bung dai ball. I asked him if we could come see it. And he said, yeah. This freaking looks crazy up here with the this grass. I love it when it, things are just like normal and then all of a sudden it's like jungle out of nowhere. Because <laughs> look, it could be out here and it's just like dirt roads and fields and kind of barren and all of a sudden just if you don't do anything with it. If, if they chop everything down, that's the crazy thing with you know the way nature works. If you chop everything down then it just becomes like a dust bowl and nothing nothing grows but if things start growing it just becomes this massive overgrowth and it swallows up everything let's continue huh? what did you say so what I did Uh -huh. Then I'm satisfied with noodles. Okay. Because in this case I'm eating. Oh, we gotta go. Or... Left or right? I don't know. <laughs> okay. every day <laughs> fake tree built up in the middle and like a shrine and then they're dancing around it with their dressed up 
like this. Yeah, that's oh. this is the second time I've seen it. I've never, but I don't know what it is. I really. Stand for me. Yeah. So okay. anybody know what that is? I'm filming right now. If anybody knows what that is, let us know. If this makes it to the video. <laughs> yeah, I need to film that. Fries open for something that you want to eat. What are you thinking? Noodles? <laughs> Hot Thai. Hot Thai. <laughs> I would do that ride again any day. That's a great ride. Off the main road, on the dirt road for a long, long way. Oh, now I remember. You're talking about the banana with the coconut in it. Mm. Yeah, there's a guy that sells it on my way to the gym, so I'll usually pick it up and have like four of them right before I work out. <laughs> it's a good energy boost before the the workout uh, I go to iTech it's the closest gym to me like, there's no gyms close to where I live at all I have to go all the way to iTech why don't I stay in Bung Bien? Uh, I don't know I've been in Bien Tien I said I just was here before working and then my visa uh, will finish like May 14th, May, mm. May 12th, yeah 14th, so yeah right now I'm kind of free to go wherever I want. Huh? Now that you say that, I'm, I want to look and see if I can find somewhere in Bungie. <laughs> I got to do this visa for first I think but maybe next month in July July but the rainy season is coming so it's like where do I want to be for rainy season I hate it. I like to be outside if I can. Like, I only go to the gym because I just want to be healthy, like, for a long time. <laughs> if I had other options, if I could train some Muay Thai, probably train, go play basketball, do something. How? you won't have I won't have anything. And it's still just one gym, but the gym is the last option, you know, like, go lift some weights. Okay, we got some exercise, but it's not really. <laughs> I like to sit somewhere under the roof outside the way. Yes, I love it. Read a book, something. Oh, I heard this is good. I heard that gym is good. But they're right on the main road and they have all the windows open. What? Oh, did they open windows? All of them are open. Yeah, no, no. No, air conditioning. Yeah, very Right. <laughs> because it's almost cheaper for me to kind of travel because and then I stay in like a guest house maybe $300 for the month for a guest house accommodation but here if I want to stay then I need to it's hard to find somewhere you want to have a long-term con I don't want a long-term contract you know mm. That's usually the best price. But you can find this price like closer to the city center. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Like Lao houses, one hundred. Really? 
I need something. July. I finished with my place in July. Take a ride up here. Okay. Thanks so much. That was a great ride. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some food. <laughs>